Cowabunga dudes, this is Anthony, aka Batbomb82, and welcome to another episode of Totally Tubular Turtle Tuesday, the one day of the week where I take a look at everything Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle related. I am a huge TMNT fan, and I've devoted this day to all things turtle related, from action figures to video games to movies, and everything in between. So for this episode, I'll be taking a look at... The Mega Blocks Toys R Us Exclusives TMNT Blind Bag Minifigures. Now taking a look at the front, we can see that they're technically not blind bagged. On the front of each packaging, we can see the corresponding turtle for the one that's inside. So with these things finally in hand, let's crack these bags open and see what we have inside. guys now let's take a closer look at the mega blocks ninja turtles here uh now actually before i take a look at them exactly uh i thought that this was pretty cool uh i actually bought these on ebay and the seller on there was nice enough to send me some tmnt stickers too uh so that's pretty cool uh, i'm just i like when we get a uh, little bonus gifts on uh, ebay stuff like that so shout out to that seller we also get this little pamphlet uh, it's a little insert that comes in the blind bags. Uh, we open this up and we get this. Looks like a little insert on kind of how to put the figures together, uh, some read ups and whatnot. And over here, which is pretty cool, uh, we get some images. It looks like all the TMNT Mega Block figures. I don't know if that's the entire line uh, or whatnot, but those are pretty cool. Uh, lots of good stuff in there. You got shredders, foot soldiers. Master Splinter, just different variants of the turtles and whatnot. Pretty cool. And below that, we get some play sets. I love the play sets on these things. I mean, man, they're Mega Bloks is really killing it. You know, I really like them a lot. You turn it around, and then you get almost like a little poster uh, of the four turtles that you actually get here. So that's pretty cool. So you can actually put that on your wall, and I think it'd be pretty awesome. So very, very cool. So starting off, we're gonna take a look at Raphael. Uh, you know, pretty badass. Uh, love these figures. Now, these are actually my f uh, first uh, Mega Blocks that I've ever actually owned. Uh, I've never had any in my life, and you know, just being a big TMNT fan, I, ha I had to start somewhere. I, I know there are a lot of TMNT Mega Blocks products that are just incredible. You know, I've seen so many on the store shelves and whatnot. And I've always wanted to jump on them, but I just never quite have. Especially the minifigures. The minifigures, I think, are just fantastic. So, the main reason I picked up these guys was just the colors that we get here. Uh, I'm a sucker for translucent toys. Uh, and this translucent green plastic is fantastic. I absolutely love the greens uh, that they used for all these figures. Very, very cool. I love the bright colors. You know, with the corresponding turtle, like the bandana, even the belt is a corresponding color. And they each come with their own little block. You can see with him, uh, it does say Raph right on the actual block itself, which is pretty cool. Uh, they do got some really nice articulation and whatnot. Uh, there's no extra detail, they're just a translucent clear plastic. Uh, but you can see there's some paint detailing for the mouth, uh, just to show some expression. And then the eyes under there too, so actually if you take the bandana off, you can kind of see it's kind of creepy. They're just big white dots. Uh, but once you put the mask on, uh, it kind of covers it up a bit and looks a little more appropriate. And then Raphael does come with his size, uh, which are very, very cool. And the cool thing about this is that you actually can plug, or excuse me, store 
the size on the back and has storage for both sides, which is very, very awesome. So I'm going to take a look at Donatello now, and you can see him, the same color of skin. They all say the same translucent green plastic, but obviously he's just done with the purple. It does say Donnie right there on the bottom of his brick, and he's got the little signature gap tooth right there. Pretty cool. And he's got his purple harness or belt that goes across his chest, and his bow staff is pretty nice. You can see how big the bow staff is. Very, very cool. Uh, there's even storage for that. You can plug it in the back like so. So I think that's awesome that Mega Bloks even gives us like holsters for uh, certain kinds of weapons and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool too. So let's take a look at Michelangelo now. Michelangelo, the party dude himself, looks very awesome. I love this. I love the bright orange that they used for Mikey. Very awesome. He's got a big cheesy grin right there, which looks very cool. That is just like a classic happy Mikey, which is the way it should be. Uh, it just says Mikey right there on the bottom of his brick. And then you get his nunchucks, and there is actual plastic chain, uh, which is pretty cool for Mikey here. Uh, those are pretty awesome. I like that quite a bit, and I love the fact that the, with the articulation of these figures, uh, they actually you're actually able to like dual wield, or uh, excuse me, um, two hand your weapons. You know, you can help hold his weapon with both hands. Uh, same thing with uh, Donatello there. He could you know uh, hold uh, his staff with both hands, which is pretty awesome too. And same thing for Mikey, uh, there is storage back here, it is a little tight for Mikey, but you can just put him in the back right there and just hold it like that, uh, and it will hold, so that's pretty awesome too. Now moving on to last but not least, my favorite Ninja Turtle, which is Leonardo, the leader that leads. Now awesome, awesome figure. Uh, he's got the blue bandana, you can see his paint smile right there, looks pretty cool. And he's got the blue belt or blue harness, which is pretty awesome like that, goes all the way across the back. And then he's got his blue brick, and just says Leo right there. Uh, he does come with a signature katana, as you can see he's holding both, in one, uh, both hands. And he, he does have storage for his katanas as well, but it kind of seems like you, you can only hold uh, the one sword at a time. Uh, but what I noticed with these, this, um, material like it's a rubber type material that they made the belts with uh, you can kind of actually squeeze it in there to the point where he can actually technically hold both swords in there uh, like how it is on the Nickelodeon cartoon so you can technically do that which is pretty cool you know and just looking at the sculpt of these figures uh, is actually pretty nice uh, just getting these ones in hand like I said these are my first mega blocks I've already, since opening these up, I've already ordered a couple other sets of TMNT Mega Blocks that we'll be taking a look here, or on this, on um, the Totally Tubular, totally tubular Turtle Tuesday, excuse me. Um, so yeah, these just, I think these just kind of started my addiction for TMNT Mega Blocks because I plan on getting a ton more. You can see the sculpting of the knee pads and even the, the wrapping around the feet and whatnot. You can see the wrappings around the hands, all look very cool. And see those are signature like Mega Bloks types of hands. That little U shape look pretty nice. I like that quite a bit. <clears throat> Even on the shell looks very cool. There seems to be a plug right here, some kind of port. Um, I'm not sure exactly what that's for. I'm assuming that's for like play sets and whatnot. Maybe you can plug them in and get some like aerial poses. I'm assuming. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm guessing what that's for. So it does look pretty cool. So let's take a look at articulation with this guy. So his head is all ball jointed. So it does roll around like that does turn left and right, uh, can look up and down a little bit. The arms are on ball pegs, so they go all the way up and down and out that far because there actually is a hinge like there as well too. Uh, there's nothing at the elbow, but the wrists do swivel like so. Then nothing at the waist, but the hips are ball jointed, so you can kick forward about that much, back about that far, uh, can do the splits about that much. You actually do get a single bend at the knee, which is very nice, and then nothing below that. <clears throat> and then the feet do are pegged, so you can plug them onto any type of building brick, like Lego or, you know, of course, Mega Blocks and things like that. So that's pretty, pretty cool. So overall, Man, I think I absolutely love these little guys. They're pretty awesome. You know, I'm a sucker, uh, like I said, for translucent plastic, uh, those kinds of toys and whatnot. And just having these guys in hand, you could already tell, uh, just kind of started my addiction to uh, TMT Mega Blocks. I love the colors. I know I love <clears throat> just cool little minifigures like this. I think they're pretty awesome. So if you're a big fan of Ninja Turtles and just looking for cool little minifigs to put on your shelves, then I think these guys are definitely a must get. 
So for a quick size comparison, here they are standing next to a Marvel Legends Captain America figure, as well as a DCUC Batman figure. And for your minifigure comparison, here they are standing next to the LEGO TMNT minifigures. Also for comparison, here they are standing next to the vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures that I've had ever since I was a kid. And just for fun, here they are standing next to Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the Mega Bloks Toys R Us Exclusives TMNT Blind Bag Minifigures. Now I have absolutely fallen in love with these figures. They are so awesome and brightly colored and have great articulation and accessories. I have definitely become a TMNT Mega Bloks fan and I think you would absolutely love them too in your collections. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Cowabunga dudes, and stay nerdy my friends. Peace.